Um, hello. Today we are watching. Get that out Today we are watching. Uh, one more time. Today we are watching. Uh, the Undoing. I think it's the Undoing. Episode one, season one. I don't know if it's gonna get a season two or not. But uh, straight off of Mayor of East Town, I'm still hungry for more um, Who Done It mystery stuff. I guess. I love that stuff. I can I can't get enough of that kind of thing. So I, I moved over from uh, Kate Winslet now to Nicole Kidman, another actor that I really love. And uh, I've heard about the series. I thought, I thought it was good. It was on HBO, of course, so it's always good. And it's right up my alley, my kind of stuff. So I kind of was itching to watch this. I'm very excited to watch it. Very excited. So without further ado, let's get to it. Oh, and I know nothing about it, by the way. Of course I don't. I've o I haven't even seen a trailer. I've only watched nothing. I've only seen the picture on HBO and I heard about it. I know nothing about it. No trailer. No nothing. Can't wait to get into it. Let's do it. Oh, oh no, one more thing. Hugh Grant is in it. Holy shit. I, I, I'm a big I watch every I watch I watch so many movies and I, I love old older stuff and everything you know I watch everything and I know Hugh Grant from a couple things he looks so different in that picture on the HBO um, thumbnail thing he looks so different I don't recognize him it's amazing it's like a different person I like the poster by the way it looks like like a classic like uh, Laura Bacall and Humphrey Bogart or something some kind of classic looking shot and Nicole Kidman has a classy look uh, also, by the way, this works out really well because in August, Nine Public Strangers is coming out, and that also has Nicole Kidman. So I'm going to be on a Nicole Kidman. Uh, this second half of the year is going to be Nicole Kidman centric, I guess. It's like Nicole Kidman theme. I got right after I finish the undo, I'm going to go straight into Nine Public Strangers through from August to October. It's going to be great. So I can't wait. Let's do this. It's Nicole Kidman marathon. <laughs> There we go. Let's do it. It's me. Is that supposed to be her? Just I sense a it's like an ironic happy situation with dark under. Where is she? That's what she's, she's in her studio. What? Dead body. Two days earlier. Okay, so we're gonna see what happened, how it led to that. Number. There she is. There she is. Oh my gosh. I like that robe is sensual. Not too lavish, you know? Practical, but very nice. Trying to concentrate on a very delicate operation here. Oh, wow, well, that's here. That's huge. Well, it's a pathetic excuse. Just turn it down anyway. We actually don't give them money. Well, your dad does, which is very uh -huh. sweet. Which reminds me, we have dinner with him next Thursday. Hey. And I love it. Go on, kiss your mom. We have a no. go. No, I'm not kissing you. You do it. I need to clean this up. I'm you not do. doing this every no, single I want, morning. I want to kiss you. I like this. He actually said that, did he? Well, no, it's not that he says it. It's the, it's it just, the way he looks at you. He used to say a lot more good stuff. It's never a good idea to take measure of ourselves Nose through nose. the eyes of the joyless. joyless. Never take measure of yourself through the eyes of the joyless. That's, like, that's no, interesting. That's you good. Be joyless when you Look, you don't, you don't play your violin for Rosenbaum anyway. Your, your relationship with song is between you and your music. Got it. Ah, that's that's that. Take your violin and shove it up his Rosenbaum cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I call him bipolar. I mean, fucking forbid. She's a so psychologist. you're back to thinking that he's um, just saying there's a particular type of person that you want to be with, and maybe you're a little too quick to see that person in the men that you meet instead of seeing what's actually there. She was saying that lady sees what she Sorry, wants to see. Something like that. I made a new mom. Oh, a scholarship. Oh my gosh. Did you even know that she was coming? Oh, I mean, shit. Sure. I was just watching her in the other show. People tell me stuff. Sorry. Oh, yeah, man. I showed this guy even better. Jolene. I mean, there's so much work, right? 
Okay. Oh my gosh, Let's, she's uh, from uh, Let's rank the items. The yeah, leftovers. The expensive worker. I was just there on Tuesday for the Chicago exhibit. She's like happy. I don't really get you at all. You were alive today. What's happening? What was that? I swear she was like, it was like she was short off. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it was, Excuse yeah, she was like, like she was like Excuse displaying me. her goods. Point. Like she had to show off something that she had. Hey, here I am. I'm a real, real woman. <laughs> I'm a real mom. I'm struggling. No. Maybe you're being too much into it. <laughs> How do you get from that to that? He said, <laughs> oh, Dr. Shit. Fraser with his magic hands. Uh -huh. Shall I get my rubber gloves? Come on, come in. I'm coming, Grace. <laughs> Hi. Just right in front of her face. To the fundraiser committee. Yes, yes. But I want to be a part of it. That's cool. I know. She gets like up and close in your face, Very you know, deep. like floating eyes, you know. She's looking, she's looking down her lips or something. What the hell? She's like <laughs> seducing everybody. Weird. Good weird. Yeah. See. <laughs> no. The way she's doing it is, is odd. Sooner we can get out the She's trying to make a succeed. statement or something. When do you get oh. back? He wore a tuxedo. Christ he wore. He wore it for her. Oh, sorry, ah. sorry. <laughs> the bunch of ass. There's like a right. seashell. Oh. Sort of a Dad. Franklin. Whoa. Such an honor and a privilege. Sir. We have to Hello. thrill. What happens, <laughs> Jonathan? Oh I did not know he was gonna be in this. You're looking well. I am. <laughs> you hear those fucks didn't show. It's a fabulous turnout. I was worried that they wouldn't show, and it she is. Mm. Oh, our lactator in chief. She looks a bit uncomfortable. Who will bid $1,000 for this glass of water? So it's a, Who it's is going to stand up and... Everything about her is strange. I mean, she's bipolar. They are talking about bipolar earlier. Because sometimes I just feel overwhelmed. She's going to die. And lost. If you ever want to talk, most of them are very kind. They're... But you are the most kind. Well, why did she? She's like she's, 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 she's singled her out. I feel it. Or something right. about her. Yes, that she knows something it. about Grace. Yeah. We don't know. Right. Gonna she's gonna die. We don't even know what was bothering her. It's getting a bit uncomfortable. Oh, I have a car. My driver could take yeah, it. Don't leave her. She's, she's, gonna, she's gonna die. Oh. Whatever it is, it's all right. Yeah. I think she senses as a sick. Oh, what the hell? She doesn't know how to take that. You are a very nice person. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Thank you. It's been an incredible evening. I sing and all that sort of stuff, but I do find, generally speaking, money works best. <laughs> how about $10? And when I put. You could be awful. Mm -hmm. Am I going to die? You're not going to die. I like, I like that he, that, you know, he, he has a good better time now. But he's, he doesn't seem condescending. Like he, he's not completely lying to them, you know. She died. You can just tell by the way he entered the bed. Oh, we've only seen him in bed. The last, the, front, the two scenes we've seen him in. Does he have no legs? And that's how you found her. Yeah, you're right. It's not about being allergic. He was home alone. He was taking care of the family dog. Got out of the house, and it was hit by a car and killed. And it was actually made worse because his parents blamed him for it. What? Wow. Yeah, that's why he hates talking about it. Did you hear it? What? Uh oh, there you go. The school's a family, it was a family tragedy, of course, a great. Mm -hmm. It was Eleanor. Oh, yeah, so you only got the what? kid part. She was yeah. found dead. You didn't know which mom, you didn't know who it was. What? Who? Eric, changed the whole place. I know. Changed the whole world. Poor little boy. Their world is about to you change. Know. They're looking for the husband. Yeah, sometimes we played together after school. And did everything seem okay lately? He's, he's okay lately? <laughs> You give me a call because something came up at school. I, I, everything's fine. Henry is fine, but I, 
I just want to fill you in. Um, I hope Cleveland is good. I love you. This is Fraser. At 2.46 p.m. From uh, Sylvia Steitz? Yes. What is the tuition there? How much do you pay? How do you think they could afford that? The offices. I mean, uh, I think it was a scholarship. Good. Thank you. Of course, he didn't go all the way up. Right. Did the father do it? It's too soon to know. Did you know her? Not really. I mean, she was she was on the auction committee. I know it's hard. We got to find out who did this. I got interviewed with a corporate. Found that the, the son found her like that. It's like she got hit with a shotgun or something. She got she trying to make sure he's okay because. As a psychologist, she knows, this, you know, you don't just walk that kind of stuff off. It's going to affect you. Hey, honey, um, I'm sure you're at some scintillating dinner, but I really need you to call me and talk about this school incident. That's why he's not answering. He doesn't have the phone. So she doesn't know where he, she doesn't know how to contact him. Why, why did he do that? She's going to start thinking about everything. She deals with people's behaviors, you know? That's what a psychologist does, so she's gonna be, her mind's gonna be reeling. Uh, who is oh. that? Who are you? <laughs> Can you, um, put me through to, uh, Jonathan Frazier, please? <clears throat> what? This is Jonathan. Uh, huh. jo Jonathan Frazier? She's just freaking out. She's like, don't know. My life has become a soap opera. <laughs> Now she's starting to wonder if they're connected or not. Oh, that's it. Hmm. All right, that's cool. This is the first episode of The Undoing. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to start on this. So Grace is a psychologist. And the husband, Jonathan, is an oncologist or something. Oncologist? He works with cancer patients. Or terminally, I guess. Yeah, he deals with cancer. Not terminally ill, but he deals with cancer patients. Usually leading to terminal ill. And a lot of, a lot of, and uh, probably a lot of them end up dying. That's what he said. The little girl. He had to, like, look her in the face and basically lie to her because he. He knew it was, she probably wasn't going to make it. It was terrible. I like how he just kind of cried into her shoulder. No words. And she didn't know what to do at first. She was trying to figure out, what do I say, you know? As a, psycho as a psychologist, once again, you always think you're always kind of getting ahead of people's behaviors. So she had to figure out, how can I be of the most use? And then she realized that he doesn't want to talk. He just wants to kind of just use her as a supportive um, pillow <laughs> so she just gotta sit there and kinda just be quiet and then they're not having sex <laughs> so, so then, yeah but um, um um she kinda figured out you could tell she was trying to figure out how to how to, how to best approach this I'm always doing that too sort of not with like that but I'm always trying to figure out how to deal with certain situations you know with people yeah but anyway bah, that's, 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 that's that um, suspects I mean okay well, well let's see Elena was part of some kind of uh, auction committee uh, then and then she died um, she, she, let's start with her it's very unusual She's something weird about her kind of primitive or not primitive but sensual something seductive definitely but the way she did things was odd. Like, like, like they said, passive aggressive. It's like she just, she would whip out, whip, whip, whip out, whip out her titties in front of everybody in a really weird way. You know, not, it wasn't what she was doing; it's how she did it, which is odd. Flaunting her body in front of the girls. What? Just the way she did it seems weird. And then she was constantly flirting with um, with Grace. I, mean, I get the impression that that it almost felt like Grace was saying something to. I mean, not Grace. Elena seems to have had like she singled out Grace for some reason as somebody who um, was really nice and all that. How does she know that from barely meeting her? And it kind of felt like 
I don't know. It's like she knew something that she doesn't. You know, so like the first thing I thought was, oh, it's her daughter from uh, she that she abandoned years ago, and she knows. I don't know. You know, she knows. She knows it's her. I mean, she knows that that's the mom or something. But then she wouldn't have kissed on the lips. So I don't know. I don't know what to take of that. I don't know how to. I don't know what to make of that. It's weird. I don't know what the lady's thinking. She's weird. She's crying. She looks like she's in pain. There's something happening. It's like she knew she was gonna die. You know. Does she have a past we don't know about? Of course, but we don't know how how integrated that is to these people. It's not the husband. It's he's the most suspicious, of course, because that's how this stuff works. Red herrings and all, but it's never him. It's never the husband. It's never the wife. That's too obvious. It's gonna be somebody else who we least suspect, and that's not the person, the husband, because that's the person we all suspect. In terms of suspects, we have her group of auctioneers, the freaking caddiest of all freaking chicks. Damn, they just keep talking nonstop. It's kind of, it's kind of, come on, you can't tell me that's really fun. They, they're really kind of grating on my mind a little bit. Uh, they just keep talking, talking to all those blonde chicks and everything. But uh, uh, you got all of those people, and I was suspecting one of them because just because everything looks normal, they just look like a bunch of chicks, right? The chances are one of them, you know. First of all, I bet you all of them, they all look. Your average lady, but then you watch, they're gonna flip the script, and, and and nobody is normal in that whole. And nobody is normal. They're all screwed up, and one of them is a killer. I mean, it could could it be something as shallow as they were jealous of her boobs? That one girl, right, was saying how she wished she had those and everything. They're all thinking that though. So, but that could, but that's just, but that's just, you know, conversation stuff. There's no way that leads into murder. Especially this murder. It looks like she got shot with a shotgun to the face. It looks like I thought I could see brain matter on the ground. Oh. It was violent. She looks like she was screaming. She was like in a... Like she was fighting for her life. That was supposed to be a studio? It looked like a bar to me. I'm going to look at it again. I thought it was a bar or a salon or something. The sun finally like that is so messed up. But the, the husband definitely looks like he knew something. Because he... He was taking care of the baby. He told her the son to go on the bus. It seemed like he didn't. It seemed like he um. He left. I thought they said he was missing, right? So that means they're looking for him too. Then you have her father, Franklin, Donald Sutherland, and I feel like you don't bring him in unless you're gonna do something with him. But then again, Mayor of Easttown tricked me too. With big stars who were just kind of there, so. Uh, it could be, could be, couldn't be. I don't know. The father looks like he's the rich one. He's rich, definitely. He buy, he's buying some kind of a painting or something, some original, whatever you know. He was just leaving that party. I don't know, but you got the ladies. You got, you got, you got her dad. Um, and then you got her husband. I liked him. He seemed really funny. He got a quick wit. A large vocabulary. I feel like he thinks like I think. But he got a good sense of humor on him and all that. And he seemed like he had a good relationship with his wife. But then we get this weird phone call situation. She kept trying to call him all day. He conveniently left the day that that lady gets murdered. Right? So he could have murdered her and then left town. And if she finds out the phone isn't even with him. So she has no way to contact him now. She called every hotel she could. She gave up on that. There's no way she's gonna be able to call everybody. I doubt it. It's too much. Too many people. Too many. Too many places to possibly call, and she don't even know if he's there anymore. Could have been a complete lie. But by her by her actions, you can tell that this is not something he does. He doesn't lie like this. She was. She told the cops that if if he was if he if he saw something, I would know. So clearly, she's she's believed their relationship to be one of complete sharing of everything. They share everything. Right, so for him to do this is a shock to the system. She suddenly she feels like she doesn't know him anymore. He's never done anything like this before. This is not a common occurrence. So what the hell is going on? Why the sudden change in behavior? He just ups and leaves, tells no one, or he told, he lies to them about where he's going because now she doesn't now she doesn't know if he is there or not. And he has a uh, his phone is even with him. It's like, it just happened to be the same day that the lady died. 
can't be. A coincidence, right? It could be, but it seems very unlikely. It, 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 I doubt it. Yeah, you can't have these. The, you know, remember what Gordon said to Robin? You're not allowed to believe in coincidence anymore. So there's no way that's a coincidence. Something is going on with that. It's baffling. I don't know what Elena was doing, and I don't know what he what he was doing. I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I still stick with the girls. I don't think it could be the son, right? The son looked like he was just curious. He didn't look like he was bothered by it because he's a kid and it's he's detached from the situation. He didn't seem like he was him. But, you know, I don't know. You can't. You never know. I think they, they mentioned when she died because it looks like she died that morning, which would fit with his schedule. But no way it's the husband. No way. But there's definitely something going on. I want to I know why he's not here. He better have a good explanation for that. I don't know. It looks like Lena just... I feel like she knew something about them that we didn't know. You are the nicest of all. You know, it made me think that she was giving up for adoption or something. I don't know what's going on there. But we're going to find out. I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Undo. Oh. Is it going to be The undoing of their marriage? That's probably what it is.